So I went out to a job today to make a material list, but the homeowner asked me to actually do some work while I was there. I had limited tools, so I wanted to show you guys how to actually work in the field if you don't have the perfect tools. We had a live wire here and no caps, so I borrowed some electrical tape from the electrician, taped one side, then the other, and taped them together, and it worked fine. The second one, I'm not sure if you noticed yet, but we used a sawzall blade to go through our pilot hole so we could find it easier in our crawl space. Next, whenever drilling a thermostat, there's no need to measure. I put the drill at my solar plexus and drill right there. Now here's a fun one. I used the wire from the vacuum that was there to snake my thermostat wire back up the wall. And then guess what? I used the vacuum to clean up my mess. Now, like I said, I really had no supplies, so here's a crazy one. I took the trim nail from the inside and used it as my staples to secure the line. And this is how I did it. I bent the nail down to about a standard size, squeezed it together. Um, didn't take crazy strength, but it hurt the fingers a little bit, so be careful, wear a glove. Next, I put it on just like a regular staple and hammered it in. Anytime I run a low voltage line, I wrap it up like this at the end, just in case somebody tugs on it below or somebody tries to do anything in the wall. It gives us extra to work with when we install our thermostat. And our last crazy trick, nobody shoot me for this, guys, is I borrowed a little fire foam from the pipe next to it, popped it down the hole, and I'll be damned. It looks pretty good, just like a regular fire foam hole. What do you guys think?